Welcome to Salesforce Break, where I'm going to show you how to use Data Loader in less than 10 minutes. Now, Data Loader is a great tool when you want to export and import records into the Salesforce environment. Let's get started playing with it. I have a developer instance up here with 12 account records, and I'm going to export those records using the Data Loader. Even if your aim is finally to import records, I recommend you get started with exporting records. Now you're going to choose the account object. I already logged into the instance using the data loader application. You can choose the fields one by one, or you can select all fields. You can have uh, conditions where you select some of the fields. We are not going to have any conditions. We just extracted. 12 of the accounts that are available in the developer Salesforce instance. When I scroll down, scroll to the side and look at the fields that are exported, I can clearly see uh, that some owner ID records, modified dates, some system fields have already been exported as well. Uh, next to fields like account name, address, number of employees and so on. And this is the ID field, unique ID field that belongs to the account record. Now, what we can do with that information is we can actually use the column headers that we got by exporting the accounts. I deleted the data out of that CSV file and I use the same column headers to enter new account records into another CSV that's called um, new account records. And you'll see that I have some of the address fields filled in, the account name is filled in, number of employees, and phone number is filled in. And I have, a, I have also SDFC break entered as the site, and I have a pick list field that says upsell opportunity, yes, no, or maybe. Now I'm going to go back into my data loader. This time I'm going to say I want to import records. Select the file that I just created. Now it's confirming back at me that there are only three records that need to be imported because there are three records in the CSV. I'm going to auto match the fields because the header titles allow me to do that automatically. And then it's going to tell me, insert the records in three. Well, yes, insert the records. Three new records will be created. And then when I finish it, it's going to tell me there are zero errors and three successes. Now I opened this error file. I didn't see anything. When I open the success file, I'll see the new IDs, account IDs that I've generated for the account records that I've created. And you see all the fields that I've entered into the original CSV. So these accounts should be on my Salesforce dev instance. Let me refresh the list view to see whether they are there. Yes, Acme is one of them. The account site is STFC break. I can tell that it's one of the records I imported. Phone number is 111 City Gainesville employees 300 and upsell opportunity is yes. So this is indeed the new record that I have created on the Salesforce instance. Another one was Einstein Co. And Einstein is with the phone number, all twos in there. And I have universal containers, the famous universal containers with a phone number consisting of all fives and 1,200 employees. The upsell opportunity here is maybe. Please remember when you're importing pick list values, you have to choose one of the values that are available on the system, especially if it's restricted pick list values, uh, it's going to give you an error message if you include other uh, values that are not available on the system. Now I'm going to open my CSV editor and I'm going to open the success file. 
success file is going to have um, the three records I have cre created and the ID is going to be filled in. So there is an account ID value in that file. I'm going to edit the names of the accounts in that file. So universal containers is going to be universal containers modified. Acme is going to be updated and Einstein is going to be inactive. Now I'm going to save this one as update CSV. In order for me to be able to update a record using data loader, I have to feed the unique account ID back to it. There's no other way. So when I select update account and then feed it the file and auto match fields, then it's going to match the ID as well. And the message I got after I proceed is there are three records that are updated on the system. I refresh my screen and voila, we have Acme name updated, Einstein's name updated to inactive and universal containers name is updated to modify. So what else can I do using data loader? Another transaction that's possible is actually to delete the records. Now, if I use the uh, unique ID for the account and feed it back to the system, I can choose to delete those records. Now, I can use one of those rows or all of those rows to delete any record that I want. I just need to tell the system which ID uh, account ID, uh, record ID has to be deleted off of the platform. Now, let me just go ahead and I was going to actually delete a couple of rows out of here, but you know, I'm, I don't know how to use this CSP editor very well. Um, I didn't want to use my Excel because it, it had my email all over it. Um, this is a pretty handy tool, by the way, free tool called CSP pad does the job. Now I'm going to save all of these records that I have created and then modified to a delete file. And then when I go back and feed the delete file into the system, it's going to say I'm going to process three records. I'm going to again create a map, auto match fields, but I don't really have to do that. It's just, it just needs an ID. It doesn't need anything else. An ID. As long as the ID is matched, then I tell the system which records to delete. It's going to go through and delete it. No errors, three successes. We go back to the system, refresh, and boom, back to 12 account records. Well, play with it some more and you're going to see you're going to love this tool.